Hi, this is Eric Solomon bringing you the Pick 5 preview from Mammoth Park for Friday, July 16th. Uh, it's going to be a great weekend of racing at Mammoth Park. The Haskell card tomorrow is phenomenal. Definitely worth checking out in, in a just an overall day where, where handicappers dream of because there's great racing not only at Mammoth but uh, Saratoga, Del Mar, fantastic cards all around. But definitely pay attention to the Haskell card at Mammoth because, again, again there's... Uh, 14 races, great sequences. Um, so let's try and build a bankroll for that card tonight. I put together a $48 ticket. I did handicap for both surfaces. Weather should be good on th uh, Thursday, Friday. They had some rain Wednesday night, but I do feel that they are going to be a little conservative. There's a lot of big races on the grass, uh, United Nations, Matchmaker on Saturday. So there's certainly a chance that the track management could be over conservative and take the races off the turf tonight if the course has a little moisture in it. So I have handicap for both surfaces there. And we're going to kick off on the turf uh, race two. I, I like two horses regardless of the surface. Um, on the turf, I went larger than life as my top pick. Uh, six to one, a little bit of a price play here. I thought this one's turf debut was strong here. Um, tossed the last, moved up in class to maiden special weight, caught an off the turf race, uh, didn't fire. But drops a little bit from the debut in Maiden Claiming here. Makes a lot of sense here. And then the other one that's very logical is Shaldag. It's the first time the source is going to run for a tag. Been steady in Maiden Special Weight Company. Most recently out of Churchill. Uh, it was a little keen coming back off a two-month layoff that day. Um, other races this, this winter were, were definitely better. I, I think dropping into the Maiden Claiming level here makes sense for this one. On the main track, I'll use Shaldag as well. One dirt start certainly looks good enough to compete at this level. And also looking at the four, Super Houdini. So it's had several chances, but this is not going to be a very deep group if this race is taken off the turf. Let's go to race three. This is going to be a spread race for me as it's a multi-condition 5K claimers. I, I like a couple price horses in here. My top pick is the one, Starship Aramis. This one, draw a line through the last race at Parks. Had an outside draw, had, had a rough break. This is a horse that likes to be on the front end. Um, did you know the break just kind of lost all chance of the break totally changed the pace scenario of the race it was a slower pace loose leader uh, I, I like the middle move down on the back stretch but when, when it came to the second turn just came up empty I thought his effort two back at, at Penn w was good in the slop this one also has some good races at two turns at Gulfstream West at this mile distance last fall I, I think a sneaky horse in this race especially with some early speed and drawing the rail another long shot here to consider number three bluegrass cat smile uh, Lolita Shivmongol has uh, one starter at the meet, was a long shot winner on July 4th, race two, brought a, our American star in here to Monmouth, dropping in class from Naira Circuit, and, and was a winner at a big price. Uh, she brings this one in. The form is not great, but running against open claimers at Belmont and Aqueduct, so, so certainly been facing better. Speed figures, the form at this level certainly does fit. Uh, morning line favorite Giodoro, definitely a horse I want to use here. Another one that likes to be on near the lead. Didn't really get there last time. We kind of settled off the pace last time out. Um, I, I think Paco Lopez is going to get on board today and probably send this horse either on the lead or kind of just sitting off Starship Aramis there. But but I think those are the two principles on the front end, right, inside and outside there. And then Hardcore Folklore, this is a horse that you three to one second choice. I was really disappointed with the effort this one showed last time out. It was heavy, heavy favorite in a four horse race and just never really looked like a winner. Um, per perhaps it was just kind of flat. It was coming back in less than a week. So, so that certainly could have been an excuse for this one. Uh, was claimed out of that race, makes the first start for the new barn. I'm going to use him in the uh, horizontal wagers as kind of a cover, but I'll be trying to bet against this one in the vertical wagers within the race. Race four, New Jersey Breds. This is the feature today, optional claiming allowance. I'm going to go three deep here. My top pick is the Tiger Lily. The Tiger Lily had a big effort to break the maiden last time out on a wet track. Uh, caught wet tracks in both of career starts. Um, should be getting on a fast track for the first time today. I say that the weather has been a little unsettled in the mid-Atlantic, but, but looking out at the forecast, uh, not a ton of ch rain, chance for rain over the next few days, so should get a fast track to run on for the first time. I, I saw a big jump from start one to start two, and certainly could move forward again getting a fast track. Joy's Pride, morning line favorite, certainly going to be the one to beat here. 
This one's going turf to dirt, but hard to take a short price on a horse that has never won in eight, eight, eight starts on a fast track. Has run quality efforts, so and you know I do like cutting back off the longer race on the turf. Uh, Taffy Candy is an interesting horse here, at number four. A couple of weeks ago, uh, this horse was entered in a race at this condition. It was actually the morning line favorite there, but scratched out of that race. Since then, he's shown two sharp workouts, but is now six to one on the morning line in this field. And I don't think this field is that much deeper, or you know, any deeper than that last race. You look at it, one start, the debut was visually striking, just absolutely blew the break, but blew by the field, won by open lengths, but did come back slow, light buyer figure there. Regardless, I think this horse definitely has the highest ceiling in the field, just not sure it's going to be ready in this spot. Might be better next time out, but I'm going to use at 6-1 to one on the morning line. I'm going to use this one today. Uh, fifth race, non-winners of three, lifetime 12-5, down to 10-5, claimers on the grass. Uh, three horses I'm going to use regardless of the surface. My top pick is Jadeen on the turf. Third off the layoff. Uh, Dev, first race was on the dirt. Didn't really run that well there. Sec, uh, went to Delaware last time out. Definitely showed improvement. This one had some big races here last year and certainly could be the controlling speed here. Uh, Sabarai coming in from the Naira circuit. Get, definitely getting class relief. This one had a long layoff, but has now had six races since. Over six off those races, but, but really has been competitive in those races. Now dropping and certainly fits at this level. Uh, Turpi is another one I'm going to use on the ticket. This one is 0 for 6 on the turf, but has hit the board in 4 for 6 of those races. I thought getting back on the turf for the first time in a while, last time out of parks, I thought that was a really solid effort to close well to get second in that race. And then also going to use number 9, Blame the Gods. I'll draw a line through that last race at Delaware. Delaware can be a kind of a funky track, especially on the turf course for, for some horses to ship to. Just looked like never really got over the surface there. Uh, his, his effort at this track, uh, two back, was respectable with better. Um, on the dirt, going to use, again, the four, six, and eight. But then my top pick on the main track, if this race does get switched over, Effie Meister. Second off the layoff, uh, sh showed some unusual speed in a sprint, especially last time out. was very keen, uh, speed and fade, kind of just a lousy effort. But, you know, again... Second off the lap, this horse is a better horse at two turns, so I, I think this horse could be a little sneaky on the main track, and I'll use that one as my top pick. Uh, hopefully we can get through that and get to our single here, free to fly in an optional claiming starter allowance race. This horse is a wind machine. Uh, first time on the local surface, but but has had strong efforts at similar races at other tracks, Oakland. Um Paco Lopez has been on uh, this horse six for six of the last seven wins just makes sense here it's, it's competitive field but but six to five I, I think this is the way to go on the last leg free to fly number six uh, so that's the 48 dollar ticket uh, again hoping to try and build that bankroll for a tremendous haskell card on saturday so good luck to everybody uh, today